Hi Sagittarius. Let's see what messages will show up for you and your person Sagittarius. Okay, in this reading Sagittarius will be focusing on your person. We'll take a look at their feelings, their intentions, their actions. We'll also take a look at your connection with your person. We'll pull some messages of love for you and also we'll take a look what your person would like to confess to you Sagittarius okay so let's take a look nine of cups could you please show us whom Sagittarius is connecting today could you please show Sagittarius their person, their person. Sagittarius's person please we have nine of cups Sagittarius we have page of cups we have a five of cups we have a wheel of fortune and we have page of wands so Sagittarius you can you can deal with the fixed sign so I have Aquarius Scorpio Taurus and Leo Sagittarius I feel that today we are connecting with someone who has regrets with the five of cups they are very much thinking about you something went wrong between the two of you and I feel that they very much deeply inside blaming themselves for that situation this person I feel has a big ego and if you are following each other on the social media they might appear completely like they are over it with the nine of cups that they are fine that they don't care that their life looks great and all of it the thing is that it's not with the five of cups because this is just a facade we are opening this mini spread with the nine of cups this is how they want to be seen by the outside world page of cups five of cups to the wheel of fortune this person wants to change the circumstances that you both might be actually in so if it is a situation and if it is a no contact situation Sagittarius this person wants to communicate and I have double confirmation with two pages we have page of cups this person wants to apologize or they want to explain something or they want to express some sort of feelings or talk about a very kind of a emotional situation that might occurred between the two of you which is hugely connected with the five of cups and they want to change the circumstances with the wheel of fortune with the wheel of fortune they want to spill the spin the wheel and they want to have a good outcome with you they want to change this situation page of wands this person wants to communicate but i feel sagittarius that you are dealing here with someone who might be quite childish my heavy mature way so a little bit of a player vibe someone quite in and out they are might be quite you know energetic quite passionate but i feel that this person momentarily might be all over the place however i see that they regret something they are reminiscing about the past and they feel saddened This feeling doesn't, the, the thing is that this feeling, it's not going away. That's, that's how I feel. Okay, Sagittarius, let's take a look at your connection with your person. Would you please show me Sagittarius's connection with their person? Please show Sagittarius's their connection with their person, please. We have the tower. Okay. Oh, God. Three of Swords and we have Two of Swords difficult difficult energy Sagittarius I feel you this person hurt you very badly with the Three of Swords the Tower to the Three of Swords that was something really kind of out of blue and it just crashed something ended that that connection your connection Sagittarius with the, with your person indeed at the moment even I feel uh, is facing a tower moment 
followed by the three of swords which is a pain heartbreak sadness the feeling that someone just ultimately inflected the pain into your heart two of swords I feel that there is no contact situation for most of you guys and, and, and I feel that you are very very hurt Sagittarius you are hurt and you want to heal something really unexpected happened I have a um, Scorpio energy really unexpected and it was painful it was completely like a like a lightning from the sky and turned the whole situation upside down and caused you pain i feel that you ultimately felt betrayed in this connection your person i feel they made a huge mistake huge mistake let's take a look sagittarius Let's take a look, Sagittarius, what your person would like to confess to you. Could you please show Sagittarius what their person would like to confess to them? <laughs> mm -hmm. My life is not as together as it seems. The Nine of Cups. Again, they might portray that everything is fine. Nah. Spirit is, is, is emphasizing that it is not true. We have, you broke my heart. We have the Three of Swords. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'm not quite sure that it's totally true. You and I were too young. Excuses, I feel. I miss hearing your voice. Yeah, I can see that with the Five of Cups. Regrets. I feel you leaving me behind. Sagittarius, I feel that this person has a tendency to play a mind game. There is this sort of kind of victim mentality attached to this energy. They're claiming that you broke their heart. Please take it as it resonates. However, I do feel that they caused you because the tower is on your side. They caused you the tower moment. An ultimate mutual energy is indeed the Three of Swords heartbreak. And there is, I feel for most of you Sagittarius, please take it as it resonates. Cross watchers, you are very much welcome, but please take a note that it might play from your perspective, okay? So there is something to, to think about, to, to, to kind of uh, take a note of. Sagittarius, uh, I strongly feel that it, we are dealing here with someone who, who, who indeed might have a tendency to put the blame on, 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 on people and they're trying to avoid uh, some sort of responsibility. Because I truly feel that this person is responsible for causing you the tower moment and ultimately this tower moment brought the Three of Swords energy, energy of pain, sadness and heartbreak. You broke my heart. I'm not quite sure about that, that you can say that to Sagittarius. They miss you. They miss you. And they are really worried that you are just moving on. Let's take a look. Spirit, could you please show some messages? With regards to Sagittarius's person, Sagittarius's connection with their person. Sagittarius's connection with their person, please. We have Sagittarius, patience, divine timing gets involved. We have longing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This person is missing you. I miss hearing your voice. Longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Release. Advice from the spirit to release. We'll take a look what it is about, if it's indeed about this person, to release this person and their energy completely, and you know to move for, to move to move on, or to 
to maybe release we'll see we'll take a look because i don't want to say you know oh this person is coming back look what they have in their feelings sagittarius six of cups they are indeed missing you very much they're missing a good times okay 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 spirit will take will take it all <laughs> oh, oh yes Sagittarius this person is very burdened in their emotions I feel that they 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 do indeed longing for you they missing you they s probably seeing you maybe moving on maybe slowly kind of not paying attention doing your thing you know that sort of kind of thing and that very much is bothering them they are unhappy I feel that this person has a tendency to repress their emotions. This is not someone who has um, this sort of kind of um, uh, who doesn't find easy to maybe be fully expressive about their feelings. They might be very optimistic, they might be very energetic, they might be very passionate, but when it comes to emotions, I feel that this person has a tendency to repress certain things. Okay. In the emotions, Sagittarius, we have a Six of Cups, which is a card of the past, which is card of a past situations, and which, you know, they want to resurface. This person is thinking about you, but they are thinking about those old good times that you both shared between you know with each other and that is really really heavily burdening them they want to drop the burden they want to just let it go stop suppressing those emotions and express their feelings with the knight of cups we have the emperor which is an aries energy they want to bring stability the thing is that this person is very much settled with their emotions. They have feelings for you. They love you. Six of Cups. This is a beautiful energy. Very, very wonderful. Knight of Cups. Again, a messenger of love. But they are repressed. This is something that they are, you know, repressing, I feel. that They need to let it, they need to just tell you how they feel. They want to bring stability to the situation. They do. We'll see. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the intention, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at the um, intentions. At the, you see, attention. They want your attention. Let's take a look at your person's intentions towards you, Sagittarius. We have a Nine of Pentacles, we have a Ten of Swords, and we have a Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, that's right. At the bottom of the deck we have the Empress energy. I have Taurus energy and Gemini and also energy. Sagittarius, this person, <laughs> this person is perfectly aware that if they want to come forward, they need to talk about this ending. With the Ten of Swords, they know that they caused you pain, disappointment, and I feel that you felt ultimately betrayed by this person. Because there is something about this individual which is shown by the Nine of Pentacles that they have a strong, strong um, sense of independence. But but it's fine to be independent. But this is something else when I see at this reading, this person seems to be a bit self-centered and selfish it is about them and they very much i feel um caring about their own comfort so what is comfortable for them okay what is what is good for them that sort of kind of energy it's coming forward with the nine of pentacles and the ten of swords the thing is that <laughs> in their intentions, they want to have the Ten of Pentacles with you. So relationship, stable relationship. 
But the thing is that they have to talk about it. They have to talk about what happened between the two of you. And well, they just they just need to take it if they want to if they want to be with you. They see you as an empress energy. They see I feel Sagittarius that you show them your um, your value. You know what I mean? It, it, it is this kind of energy of, I know my worth and they can see it. And don't, don't come forward here if you just, if you're about to just repeat the same patterns because I don't want to deal with it. That's how I feel you kind of deeply inside feels about the situation. Let's take a look at their actions, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at their actions. Let's take a look at their actions, Sagittarius. Could you please show Sagittarius their person's actions? I have the Two of Wands. <laughs> the Empress, you see, wanted to show up. There we, there she is. Okay, mm -hmm. this person is heavily observing you. They are, f they are, you know, checking your social media, even if you are not aware. Sagittarius, they are heavily keep on tabs on you. They might be gaining some sort of information if you have a common friends, what you're up to, if you're dating someone, or if you are, you know, if you are still angry, or if they can. If there is a chance for them to come forward, are they trying to kind of check the field with regards to this particular situation with the Page of Swords? Page of Swords also is a card of communication. So it wouldn't surprise me, Sagittarius, that this person will suddenly appear and, and, and you know, you will hear from them in their actions because they are planning something with the Two of Wands. The Empress again. We have the Empress and we have the Emperor. They see you as their divine counterpart someone who is who is who who is really uh beautiful nurturing caring loving someone who attracts abundance it's something about your energy sagittarius that they are really um they're missing it very strongly very very strongly let's take a look sagittarius at your immediate outcome for your connection for the near future. We have the Queen of Wands. Huh. Sagittarius, you are in control. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool. So you might be dealing, Sagittarius, with Aquarius or Aries again. We have Aries here. Sagittarius, I feel that certain things uh, will be communicated to you this person is planning how to come forward or just to you know make a certain move please take it and it resonates you are in control at the end of the day it is you who is in a position of power when it comes to this particular connection you might not feel that way but the cards are showing that this is you queen of wands very much this is um, fire sign energy so, and I strongly feel that ultimately the certain, uh, the future of this connection will heavily depending on, on, on your, on your attitude, on your decision. We had release, interestingly enough. And then we have the fall. Spirit is advising you Sagittarius that if this person will come forward, and I feel that they will because they have regrets they miss you. They will at least make some sort of move towards you to kind of, you know, check how the situation looks like. If you are open for communication or if you're open to welcome them back to your life, please take it that it resonates. Or to even reconcile after this Ten of Swords and this Tower moment with the Three of Swords. Spirit is advising you that something something new is on the horizon for you for you 
because the fall it's a new beginning i feel sagittarius that you ended a certain karmic cycle with this person i don't feel that they want to let you go i don't because we have a six of cups in the emotions six of cups is always the card of the past coming back reconciling you know you you, you will hear from this person you know that's what it essentially means and they do have these feelings for you but spirit is pointing out of course that's your choice what you would decide to do but it's also saying that you ended this 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 karmic cycle and maybe it's time for something new and in order to kind of move forward into a completely new beginning and open this new chapter in your love life it's time for you to release and let go of this person or this situation okay that's the kind of side message from the spirit if we want to really focus on that connection spirit is pointing out that this person wants to a new beginning with you with the fool that's how it is but remember Sagittarius that you are in position of power and at the end of the day even if the situation might be looking completely differently at the moment you might feel oh, what is she talking about spirit is saying you will have the last word it will be your decision will influence the the, the 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 ultimate result when it comes to your your connection with your person okay so essentially everything will depend on your decision or you know on your choice and on you <laughs> thank you very much for being with me sagittarius please like share and subscribe and i truly hope that this reading was of help i wish you all the very best and once again thank you very much for being with me take care Bye.